Um, it has been challenging. All of our kit is like, you know, uh, high voltage power supplies and like needles and special chemicals. We couldn't really do any electric spinning th through the lockdowns. We haven't had the access to as many samples as we'd like because obviously things aren't in, like it's hard to get hold of things. Researching this kind of topic with biodiversity and nature, you kind of have to be outside and in this case on site, which would be in our school. We would have done something like a really big experiment in a local park or nearby some river or something. It was hard definitely to collect data because I couldn't go speak to anyone physically and make sure that I collected the right things. Because of the baking frenzy that happens in lockdown, we couldn't get a hold of cornstarch and so we had to use lots of different vegetables that were quite starchy to try and uh, make sure we had enough of starch in to make our plastic work. It's kind of difficult um, working with someone when you're not in person with them because um, sometimes when you're in person with people you can kind of spring up with more ideas. I think it's different because you're not getting so much of a gauge of what people's opinions are that you would do if you were in person. My team in year 12, we were able to load samples and displayed them remotely for the um, year 10 Ignite and PPL group. When we found out about the conference, we were at home. Instead of being there in person, we called each other off and um, it was actually quite fun. You kind of like talk to each other because, you know, in lockdown while we were doing it, it was also nice to actually like speak to other people. Yeah, because everything had changed so much. It was nice to still have the structure of doing our project. And it was also quite a fun thing to keep us entertained because there wasn't much to do when we were all stuck in our houses. Yeah, I think it was quite nice to actually have a goal. Because of the pandemic, we've had to work together and really become a team to uh, complete this. So I feel like although it's kind of been hard, we've still gone through it to like the best that we can do it. We've really enjoyed um, the whole like project. It made me a bit more independent because typically I would just follow along with the curriculum. And we had to do all the research ourselves and doing a lot of research was really interesting. There's that sort of sense of not necessarily knowing and the results being on your back almost. Even studying physics for A-level, we don't really cover things like this ever. It's things you've heard of in your lessons, but you never actually got to try. Preparing for the conference was really um, a nice experience because we also got to go back to why we're doing this whole project in the first place. I think it's going to be very useful to have done at this stage and be able to replicate in the future. And it's good practice for universities and interviews and things like that. I'm really looking forward, looking forward to, to it. it. It's kind of put all of our work um, towards what this one goal um, and yeah I'm just really excited to kind of hear what everyone has to say and hear from different speakers and just broaden our knowledge really. And obviously watching this video during the conference will be very interesting as well.